well, there is no intelligence without hard working, and there's no hard working without intelligence, which brings, I mean, those uh, two have to go together. You have to be intelligent, you have to be hard working, but let me also tell you what I've been uh, saying to many young audiences this day, you have to be equilibrated. You should not be simply hard working in your subfield, and uh, I always plead in favor of, but this may be old fashioned, of having a, a nice family, of being involved with uh, people around you, of having good friends, and, and then also being, for us scientists, being interested in literature, in art, and so on. Not uh, specialists in everything, but being open-minded. This is very important, I think. Not in the ivory tower of, uh, there are people who are in the ivory tower who are successful. But my feeling, as you ask me, as I'm privileged to sit with you here, my uh, gut feeling is be open, be open to everything. Read a newspaper about, I'm reading newspapers about Catalonia and Spain now, <laughs> in France. You see, it's, it's interesting to see how people react to it. And, um, and okay, I mean, uh, being intelligent, I suppose all of us, certainly all the people in this room here are intelligent people, otherwise we would not be here in the room. Uh, together and so uh, the basic intelligence most all of us I say in this room have the basic intelligence hardworking I think we all are, are hardworking so it's uh, beyond that it's the quality of the question the quality of the scientific environment the quality of uh, having access mm -hmm. to techniques and funding I'm sorry to say that but uh, that was a major problem in our case for many many years